and St Kilda. The Saints are out to break a 27-year losing drought against the Blues at Princes Park. All this and more. More than that, for the clash between St Kilda and Carlton, they closed the gates. That annoyed a few people, the ones that couldn't get in. But I'm happy to say they were able to see the game. We put a monitor out the back of the ground for them to sit and watch the clash. It was very tight in the first quarter. St Kilda had the breeze, but they fritted away their chances. Three goals, five, could have easily been 6-2, but they led by just three points. Carlton kicking three goals into that slight breeze in the first term. John Dorotich, incidentally, did not take his place in the Carlton lineup. Andrew Caverdon replaced him. Let's go to the action now. We pick it up at the start of the second quarter. Full advantage of the breeze in the first quarter, lead by three points. What can Carlton do with it? Madden plucks it out of the air from the middle and immediately sends the Blues down towards the half-forward line. Morris keeps Kernahan out of it. Fotia scouting the pack, gives it away, but straight to Newport. Newport's quick hand pass goes the way of Burke, who flicks wide to McAdam. Over the line. Gilbert McAdam not happy about it. Better throw in. Kernahan, edged out by Harding, who gets it down to Frank Cogman. Gets a hurry kick, Madden. Gets a bad bounce. Edgar. May run out of room. He's gone. Must lose it to McAdam. Advantage will be paid. Rice in towards full forward. Melbourne. Defending, but straight to Harding. Big Paul Harding on centre wing. Craven. Goes to half forward. Kitschke sandwiched. Gave a little push in the end to the umpire. And so again, the Blues get out of trouble. Madden gives it to David Kernahan on to Tommy Alvin. Alvin from half back. Well, he's got a loose man wide in Dean. Dean away, getting away from Harvey. Peter Dean, a very good player, a serial. Wobbly kick, but it gets to the right man, Mark Asiri. He's on centre wing. To half forward, Ian Aiken. Two bites, couldn't take it. The Saints through coming. On to Daniels. Morris has done fairly well on Steve Kernahan so far. Russell Morris to the half forward line. Dean Rice pushing and shoving. He's got it, Rice. Great improved player. Dean Rice on the left foot. A beautiful kick. And they take a mark. It's thumped the ground. Stuart Lowe charging back after it. Now it's Meldrum. Dean, well done. The Carlton defence playing very, very well. Bradley versus Craven. And Bradley has taken a good mark. He and Newport having a great 50. contest. That's 50. That's not good play by Craven. Because that brings Bradley, who would have kicked from the wing, will now oh. have, have a oh. shot to goal from about 35 metres. Fair 50. Well, you just can't afford... Yes, I think it was a little bit longer than 50, but you just cannot afford to do that anywhere near the forward line in particular. An easy shot at goal now for Craig Bradley. Chance to put Carlton in front. Directly in front, Bradley stabs. Goal umpire goes across and doesn't move, it's a goal. So the Blues hit the front, they lead the Saints. As we look at the scoreboard, 4-2 plays 3-5. A costly error by Danny Craven, giving the Blues vice-captain his first. Well, it's been really a gift, isn't it? So back in the middle once again with Harding and Matt. 26 plays 23, but this time the Blues lead. O'Sullivan's got strength. He gives it to Fotia. Looks for Hannah. That's lovely play out of the middle. Bill Hannah tucked in the pocket. He's got the wind coming over his left shoulder. Has kicked one. Could have had three in the first quarter, but missed a couple. From 40 metres. Floats it right across the face of goal. Almost a mark. And it's going to be paid to Cavendon, I think. Well, they couldn't have paid the mark, surely. I think he did. Well, very, very lucky to be paid that on a fine day like this. You've really got to hold it. 
So the 19-year-old looking for his first. Coming into the side and replacing Dorotich. And he doesn't let the team down. One goal to Cavanagh and a very good start by Carlton in the second quarter. 5-2 plays 3-5. Well, they're doing well out of the centre, Carlton. And, uh, well, that was uh, two men actually almost took that. That was Kernahan and Cavanagh. But uh, the umpire paid it to Cavanagh. I thought a little bit lucky. Still a handy goal. Vital few minutes coming up for St Kilda. Harding against Madden. A big job for Harding today, giving away a lot of inches. Here come the Saints through McAdam. Umpire paying the advantage as the ball bounces for Coglin. Coglin looking for someone to lead. It's Wilson caught behind. Meldrum racing at it. And he's doing well there, Paul Meldrum. Meldrum to centre half forward Kernahan and a backup support Richard Dennis. Dennis looking for the long sweeping hand pass. He looks to have a kick himself, a wobbly one to the full forward line. Cavanan ran straight at it. That was good play. Cummings wide. Alvin versus Harvey. Who'll get there first? Oh, Harvey with pace. Have a look at that. That was beautiful football. Morris doing well at half back. Morris to the half forward line and he's found Dean Rice. That's a bit of play, but they've been falling down up at full forward. The kick to the pocket, it's a mark, and it's been taken by Wilson. And they certainly need Sandy a few goals out of Brian Wilson today. Kick one to date in the first quarter. Well, there he is, that characteristic um, mark on the ground. Uh, Stuart Lowe, he also does the same thing. Let's see if it helps. They need this one. They trail by nine points at the moment. Of course, he had his big day against his old club, Melbourne, when he booted six. And did he let them know it? <laughs> Brian Wilson. Almost directly in front. Kicks. And always oh, missed. So, another bad miss to the Saints. They missed a few in the first quarter. 3-6 St Kilda, 5-2 Carlton. Kernahan to Sylvain. Got Madden streaming up towards the wing. Can't get there in time. Dennis at the back. Loses it after the tackle. Daniels gets it out. Aitken also in there. So too Pekin, who almost threw it out to Daniels, but he accepted it gleefully. To half forward. Over the back is Dean. Now Kernahan. Back to Dean. Carlton defence working well. Madden. Lopes off and kicks in towards the centre. In the mark taken by Dom Fosher. Now Hannah's his target. Couldn't pick it up on the half volley. But quick to recover. Good tackle by Frawley. O'Sullivan runs into trouble. Arsiri gives it back to Dennis. From the 50 metre line he pumps it high. Cavanagh will be the fly. Well, that was a brilliant mark by the youngster. I said earlier I didn't think he'd taken the other one, but <laughs> no doubt about that one. That was uh, shades of a very good player to be able to jump that high in a very, very strong grab. Andrew Cavanagh going for his second goal. And he's made no mistake. Two to Cavanagh. Carlton kicked clear. 6-2, 38. They lead by 14 points over St Kilda. 3-6, 24. Three plays, 3-6. Oh, the danger signs are up for St Kilda here as our series sends Carlton down towards Hannah territory once again. Fotier is there scouting the pack in the front. Can't take it. Frawley over the top. Does shovel it out. Cavanagh pushed in the back. Oh. So it's becoming a little repetitive. With Carlton pushing this ball down into the forward line. Cavanagh has booted two. Hannah has kicked two. Cavanagh now for number three. Must start it right. He does, but it drifts back very late and through for one behind. I'll tell you what, Sandy, Richard Dennis has got over that uh, knee injury because he's jumping very, very high this year. Leap, really leaping for those marks. 22 points the margin. We've got just under 12 and a half minutes remaining in this vital second quarter. Vital particularly for St Kilda. They can't afford Carlton to steal a winning break. Aitken's kick dropped well short. Mark taken by Muller. He's got 
Morris virtually in the middle and Russell Morris long penetrating kick down towards the forward line but that's where St Kilda's falling down oh, they ever, could they do with Lockett oh. David Kernahan takes it and gives it to Dennis Richard Dennis at half back he's got a loose man in Marcus Curry gets a shocking bounce Dean Rice taps it back to McAdam the brilliant Gilbert McAdam is he a good player McAdam oh look at this Craven on his own oh touch before he could take the mark good defensive play the pressure's on though Craven goes and gets it again Craven hooks a goal brilliant play by the Rover but it was touched and while that's going on Jimmy Cracker and Paul Meldrum are having a ding dong this Whoa. may develop into an all-in if they're not careful I was watching those two, and they were having a wonderful afternoon. And while well, that was going on, of course, the, it deserved a goal by Craven. That was terrific play. So, back with the action. This has uh, put a bit of spice into it. Clever play. To push it up towards Madden. The big man almost down to centre wing. Ratton gives him good assistance. Daniels has it on the wing. Now, Cracker and Meldrum have disentangled themselves. And are back in town. Daniel's kick. Going short, looking for Newport. Picked up by Fotia. Daniel's again to Harvey. Claim, but pushed illegally, said the umpire. Kernahan <laughs> coming in over the top has given away the free kick. And I'm watching Meldrum and Cracker, they're still at it. I don't know what they're discussing. Harvey. Still Harvey. Edgar and Harvey's kick at that shorter distance he was able to follow it down. Well the big difference in the game at the moment is that St Kilda got nothing up forward. They really had not got anyone and to being taken off is Aiken and coming on is Michael Sexton for Carlton. Asiri goes forward again. McAdam at the back. Did well. Nathan Burke. Now he's lying on it. He's got to get it out. He does. There's Sexton with his first kick of the game now. Morris is absolutely well on top of Kernan at the moment but he makes his first mistake and puts it out of bounds on the floor but Steve Kernahan being well beaten which is surprising to half forward no mark Mark Asiri Hannah it's a bad bounce Cavanagh puts the tackle on Muller Danny Fawley gets it to Cummings and Cummings out looking for Harvey he's got two to beat and Carlton running in numbers oh look at big Justin Madden good Pace. play and was yes pace and look at the, the roars of the crowd they love him at times Dean Rice now that could be holding the ball I think it will be now the umpires have been very consistent today Marcus Siri was lying on the top of it Rice to the half forward line again they're falling down up there St Kilda the Carlton defence playing in front Frank Cogman trying to do something now he's got it cleverly done Craven back to Harvey he should kick it long into that breeze Wilson oh good use of the body a brilliant mark that by Wilson and the distance could be a doubt he should kick it to low lows back on his own in the goal square if he kicks it now low is there and no tall man to beat and now McAdam Coughlin an open goal kicks and misses but I really think Brian Wilson Lowe was yelling at him to get it down quickly. Down there on his own. He was in the goal square. So a valuable opportunity missed as David Kernahan takes it away from the half back line. Yes, it was Reynolds who brought it back into play. Goes up towards Dennis. Newport tried to soccer off the ground. Dennis keeps it in play and pushes down towards Bradley. May open the path for O'Sullivan. Propped over the ball and he's lost it. Well, Luke O'Sullivan just arched his body over that ball for a split second and was pink that's the rule Coglin again at the back looking for Craven with him is Foti on all fours Silvani a good tackler comes free to Craven a high kick the Saints inside 50 but only momentarily another opportunity Rice couldn't take it Rennett soccers out of his arms Newport Tried to push it back, but he couldn't. So Rennitz hammers it down towards half forward. Cummings meets it nicely for St Kilda. His kick is not a good one. All Carlton out there. Foti has got Bradley ahead of him. He uses him. This is danger for St Kilda. Bradley will have a shot. 
Hawley goes short to O'Sullivan. Luke O'Sullivan. With a build not unlike that of Greg Williams. Very solidly built customer. Left footer. Drop punt. Pushed right across the face of goal. And over the line in the left forward pocket. Carlton, another forward chance. Cabot and Gellick got it down beautifully. Oh, well done to O'Sullivan. An open goal. Bang. Another one on the board. No, he's missed. And he thought he kicked it. That's interesting. He might, might have been touched. Touched by Frawley. So, uh, bad luck there to Carlton. And St Kilda fans would breathe a sigh of relief then because really they mucked it up again up on the forward line. Now Frawley's gone short and found Pekin. 7-5, plays 3-8, so plenty of chances the Saints. Carlton looked far more dangerous in attack. Craven receives Ooh. from Harvey on the McAdam. Back to Harvey. Oh, well done by Harvey. Now he gets onto the right foot, a clever little chip pass. That was better play. And the mark has been taken by Kane Taylor. Now he should be able to just about make the distance from there. He'll kick from about 46 metres. He'll still take a good kick because he's not on the scoring side. He'd be better off on the other half forward flank. Kane Taylor, they need a goal, the Saints. There's the drop punt. Will it come back? It's close. I think it's to the right. It is, so another missed opportunity. St Kilda 3-9. Carlton 7-5. Just under six minutes remaining in this second quarter. A quarter that so far has been dominated by Carlton. Taylor, another chance, or he may leave it for Rice. He does. Dean Rice stabs into half forward, and he finds Frank Coghlan. He will be kicking from just outside 50. This may test Frank. But he's going to have a shot by the look of it. Well, he tried to kick the leather off that, and it went about 15 metres. Craven gets it out, but it goes to Kernahan. The Carlton defence has been too strong in this quarter. He pushes wide to the half-back flank. McAdam will be first to it, and he breaks the tackle beautifully. Very skillful and a delight to watch as he finds Craven. Well, that was just sheer class. Yeah. He is a top player. And this little fella's going well. Danny Craven. Yes, he's been busy. Fifth kick coming up, eight handballs. From 40 metres. Oh, it's a high kick, it's going to go very oh. close. Another poster. I think one of the players really uh, was shaking that post too, Sandy. 3-10 plays 7-5 so those costs those shots in the first quarter may prove very well, costly. they've had one more scoring shot. Jason Daniels has been an excellent player for the Saints. His kicking can be a little bit indifferent. Now he's got Jimmy Cracker on his own. He's found him. Yeah, little Jimmy getting the hoots. <laughs> now off he goes. No one on the mark so he has a casual bounce. Now he kicks it up. Can they take a mark? Silvani back with the flight of the ball and a good mark by Steve Silvani. We've got nothing in attack at the moment, St Kilda. Silvani looking for Madden. Can't take that mark. He's taken a couple of nice marks today. Big Justin and they roar, running back with a fly. Courage, sensational mark that by Dean Rice. Running back with a flight and Kernahan could have cleaned him up. That was a magnificent mark. Rice to the half forward line. Low versus Silvani. The dangerous McAdam. Look at this for play. Beautiful football from 45 metres. McAdam. Wilson can't get back to it. Oh, actually, he doesn't catch it back. No, he doesn't. The ball beat him over the line. And Wilson and David Kernan. A slap across the face. That could be a report. But nothing in it. I mean, it wouldn't knock a feather duster up the 
better off a fence on a windy day that but he's been reported well you can see that one for yourself whether it should have been reportable David Kernan told the umpire it should have been and Brian Wilson's name's gone in the book Kernahan long kick towards the half back line his brother almost took the mark in fact he's going to be paid it. Steve four marks 50 metres Sandy another costly one and Wilson's on again with Kernahan the goal umpire has come out to them And Jimmy Cracker and Meldrum having a go in the pocket. Surprise, surprise. And Jimmy's getting up to the action. He wants to get up and help. And in the meantime, the play goes on. Dennis can't mark in the forward pocket. Cummings lays over the top of him, and the Carlton man has lost it. Well, this could end up a pretty fiery game, in the because the uh, players are pretty well... Uh, Full of emotion at the moment as we see Russell Morris looking for low. He couldn't take the mark. Big Justin. Now that could be holding the ball against Peter Dean. No, the ball flipped over the line and out as we look up the ground and uh, they seem to come to their senses, the players. The goal umpire was out. I don't know whether it would be another report and Wilson still having plenty to say to Kernahan. There's Justin Madden to the half forward line Morris has been terrific at halfback this time he's beaten by Kernahan Kernahan to mark a series a series to the pocket and the second bite over the line so that will be a throw in and there's plenty of mouthing on going up the other end Sandy oh there's <laughs> chesting oh they're at it again well we'll get back to the action as we see Cavadon in after it this is Mark Asiri with the snapshot. Crawley using the body well and taps it. Oh, went to tap it over the line for a point, but eventually it rolled over for a throw-in. So Temper's a bit frayed up the other end, but the ball down in Carlton's forward pocket. Cavanan plucks it out of the air. Couldn't quite get a boot to it. Rice can and finds Morris. Russell Morris at centre-half back. Be some fireworks if they can drift it down to that forward line. Wilson, Kernahan, Meldrum, and Cracker and Co. Alvin. Dean works hard. Eventually does get it out to Edgar, who pumps Carlton into attack down towards the half forward line. They want someone running the flank. No one there. Asiri soccer's off the ground. It may sit for him here from 40 metres. He pulls it around his body. Oh, what a kick! What a great goal! Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1990-16-94. Cavendon booted four. Dennis, Steve Kernahan and Mill Hanna each two. St Kilda seven goals, 18 at one stage. They booted 12 points on the trot. Brian Wilson kicked two goals. Well, Ted and Berry, you're the master of hot water, but I would suggest to you that uh, Brian Wilson could be vulcanised. Four reports and three charges, the old Brownlow medalist. He was really the villain out there at Princess Park today. Uh, Ken Sheldon said, uh, I'm not too sure that was discipline. I've got no explanation for it. And of course, Jimmy Cracker was involved out of, in there at something too. So that could be sort of looked at by the investigators as well. Scotty, no Scotty just in closing, Carlton won, but at a cost. Yes, uh, Stephen Silvani, of course, was a great player. And he suffered a lateral knee strain in the first 15 minutes and still played on to do well against Lowy. They've got a lot... Still a couple of blokes on with concussion, but David Parkin very pleased with the boys. He said and they didn't fade out in the fourth quarter. Scotty, unfortunately our time is up. Keep punching, my boy. You've got a cold, Sandy, too. Uh, a little one. When you get to France, see Fifi down at Pagal and tell her, <laughs> tell her to mix up a bit of brew with that garlic and hang it around your chest. Good night, Scotty.